Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I was giggling there because I wasn't sure if I was ready to say it, but I am ready or not. I was thinking this is a, uh, a special morning. Welcome to Morning Glory. Welcome. So we got this a spectacular show planned Absolutely. today. Yep. I'm just pumped. It's going to blow your socks off. <laughs> Okay, maybe not. You know, because we're just regular guys having a great conversation. Yeah. Um, this is a ministry of encouragement from Winnipeg Evangelical Free Church. My name is Mark Grave. And I'm Kurt Willems. And uh, we are two smooth talking guys <laughs> with a lot sometimes to say. So smooth. Really smooth. Mm -hmm. um, actually, we just hope that you're. Uh, this is finding you in a real good spot today. Um, we, uh, we have another spectacular day. It's a doozy out there. It's a mm -hmm. warm one. Uh, the day that we're recording this, watch us have like really cold days when this is actually, <laughs> uh, aired. Uh, but, um, yeah, we, we want to talk this morning about another thing that people do in the mornings mm -hmm. and drum roll, please. Yes. That sounded more like rain. That's, that's like rain. That's not like a uh, drum roll. That's getting closer. <laughs> okay. You know, um, some people just love it when we laugh during our conversation. So uh, oh, we're going to have lots of that today. I oh, think. yeah. Yeah. So that's the drum roll. Cartoons. Like, I don't know how many of our listening audience remembers just watching cartoons. Now, obviously... It's not going to be something that you're going to do every day. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll be like for me, it was one of those special time Saturday mornings that you could watch cartoons. But you were grilling me earlier and you had a question for me. What was mm. it? So, what is considered a cartoon? Yes. What is it like? Um, is all animated? No. Production? No. Cartoon? No, no. You can't. No, you can't. You can't put the Sunday evening Disney movie into this category. Mm. That's not. We're not talking about yeah. the Disney movie. I beg my mom and dad that I could stay home and watch the Disney movie rather than go to church and and <laughs> Sunday night. And uh, sometimes, very seldomly, did I win. At this, I should, in case I'm not I'm confusing people, because I did grow up in in Africa, in the Congo to be exact. But um, so I wasn't watching cartoons in the Congo. But this is when we were in Canada, mm -hmm. so we did have cartoons. I did. I am familiar with it. I'm not uh, ignorant of the car the car cartoon <laughs> the cartoon situation so anyway cartoons okay like and furthermore uh cartoons what other cat what other uh, what else would be a cartoon if it wasn't like saturday morning half hour cartoon what else could be a cartoon yeah yeah well i don't know it could be uh a movie no no not like marvel i don't know what not else? marvel no. either yeah. i mean there's so much let's see that that goes into animation yeah we could do a whole animated series mm -hmm. about uh, how your life should be animated. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, maybe not. Let's not do that. We're going to talk about cartoons. Yeah. I have a favorite. I always really enjoyed watching um, uh, Roadrunner. Roadrunner. Mm -hmm. Meep, meep. Yeah. Classic. And off he goes. Wile E. Coyote and Acme uh, uh, Dynamite all the time. Mm -hmm. Big boulders. Like who wouldn't in their life want to be Roadrunner? Like the thing, it was like indestructible. Yeah, indestructible. He just kept me like so glued. I was like, how is he going to get out of it this time? And what's, you know, and poor Wiley. Like the guy, the dude. It must he, be frustrating. He got flattened. He got squished. <laughs> he got blown up. And um, what was your favorite uh, cartoon? Um, You know what? Or I think few. some of them... Magic School Bus. Oh, yeah. That was okay. a whole classic. Oh, okay, yeah. Educational, too. Yes, I do remember that from my kids. I don't remember that personally, but that would make sense. Yeah. Uh, Being that you're like 500 years younger than me. Yeah. <laughs> when I was really young, uh, Franklin. You know Franklin? 
The Franklin the hero turtles, guy. The turtle. Yes, Franklin the turtle guy. <laughs> Am I turtle enough to be in the turtle club? <laughs> Different movie reference. Yeah. yeah. And then... Um, Franklin, good old Franklin. Another one. Yeah, this yeah. one wasn't a morning uh, cartoon, but this one was one that me and my brothers absolutely had to race home from school. Yes. Because, oh, you know... Oh, yeah. There's a whole category there, right? Yeah, because back in the day, mm. you can't just stream whenever you want those of you who are born after 2000 you might not realize this but time you... was of the essence <laughs> yeah. if you missed it there you was no it. recording unless you recorded it on your vhs tape yes maybe <laughs> <laughs> audio cassette yeah so and but um, what did you race home for Kurt? dragon booster Dragon Booster, that rings a bell. <laughs> what what in the world was Dragon Booster? It was this uh, this young guy, and they were in this fictional land with dragons, but it was yeah. also kind of like um, modern-ish, and it was almost okay. all, also, it was like a modern kind dragon. of anime-inspired, just because okay. it kind of had that kind okay. of, uh, in terms of the, um, the artwork, it was kind of... That kind of stuff, kind of like like edgy, liney, like uh, mm -hmm. not Patrick Liney, but like <laughs> li like hard edge, like not yeah. your sort of rounded Mickey Mouse cartoon. Yeah, right. It was uh, intense. Intense. Yeah. Did the good guys win? Was there always a battle between good and evil? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Who was like when you like who would be the bad guy in Donald Duck? Oh man! Yeah, uh, see, like I'm not coming up with anything either. Mickey Mouse, Minnie. How about uh, Charlie Brown? Uh, was Char yeah, Charlie Brown was a cartoon. Yeah, but um, I'm liking your cartoons way better than mine. <laughs> I, I'm re just like remembering Bugs Bunny, Yosemite Sam. Yeah, grab me your partner round and round. Grab my little mustache, hit him on the ground. <laughs> that was Bugs Bunny grabbing Yosemite Sam. Oh, the rabbit! <laughs> And then uh, Elmer Fudd, I would be brave to do uh, an impression of him, but I'm not now. I just lost my nerve. Did you watch the Flintstones? Yes, the Flintstones. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. They're a yabba dabba family. Somewhere out in bedrock. La la la, and then, <laughs> and then they they run away with their feet under their stone cars. Yeah. Yes. What was that space show? Um, there was oh, shoot. Uh, there, um, like that Flintstones, and then the Jetsons. The Jetsons. The Jetsons too. Yeah. Yeah. Flintstones. I like that one. Yeah. Fred, Wilma. Who was the the littler guy? I have no idea. Mm hmm. Okay. It's too old for my time. Yeah. Some people might even just remember kind of the, um, oh, who was it? Uh, they did kind of a live person version, a movie of the oh. Flintstones. But I don't remember. Anyway, that good, good old fashioned. Um, what you had, you had some trivia. I know we've gotten fan mail that says, please grill Mark. <laughs> Please make him <laughs> uncomfortable with your trivia, with your questions. I struggled so badly with Family Feud the other week. I'm like, I listened to it again after. And I'm like, dude, like, how can you just like suffer so much with oh, this man. thing? Yeah, I was not following that very well. Well, hopefully you'll have more success this time. <laughs> yeah, undoubtedly. Uh, it's my first day using my new lips. Can't All right. Yeah. Well, let's give it a go. Okay. Question one. I've what, got. What is uh, the category, anyways? Cartoons. But yeah, but just general cartoons. But general cartoon knowledge. Yeah. Is um, this true and false? Yes or no? I've got a combination. Multiple. Oh, fun. Okay. So we've got seven questions. That's a good number. Very appropriate. Indeed. It's a whole number. A whole number. Mm -hmm. What makes that a whole number? We should talk about that sometime. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, question one. The place that cartoon characters store things just to pull them out of thin air. You know how cartoon and cartoons, yes. they just like, you know, yes. pull out a, a yes. sword out of thin air or whatever. Yes. Um, that is no, the, so that place mm -hmm. is known as the black hole. Multiple pole. question. I've got uh, multiple answers. So I've got four. Okay. A, oh, B, good. C, D. Okay. So you don't have to pull this answer oh. out of thin air. Yes. 
Just out of thin air. <laughs> A. Thin air. The fifth dimension. The air is so thin here. B. Hammer space. Nah, no way. C. No way. Invisible storage. No. D. The back pocket. That's an easy one because I know that nowhere do we see the back pocket. So referring to the back pocket would be really smart because it's uh, unverifiable. Mm -hmm. So no one knows exactly where and whence this back pocket comes, but it's always a good place to put things. Mm -hmm. It's unlimited in its space and capacity and its dynamic ability to store things. I'm voting for the back, the back pocket. pocket. You yes. are false. No, I give up. Okay. It's B, hammer space. Ha no. <laughs> what? That was the one I was like, no way is that hammer space. Who came up with that anyways? I don't know. Hammer space. Hammer time. What does that mean? It's hammer Maybe time. Maybe I should be careful. <laughs> what I ask. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. All right. Question two. We'll move on. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Superman. This is a Superman question. Okay. What superpower was not originally included in Superman's arsenal of superpowers in his early portrayals? Mm -hmm. A. Not included. X ray vision. Ooh, interesting. B. Uh, super speed. C. Mm -hmm. Super breath. Mm -hmm. And D light okay i'm going with super breath here because i do think i remember early versions of superman x-ray fast as flight um and whatever that other one but i'm going with breath wrong <laughs> it's flight <laughs> what so superman was originally incapable of flying in the superman 1940s fly? hence the phrase able to leap tall buildings in a single bound I I'm blown away. So that, breath though was there. Yeah, super breath. He it could like super breathe breath. in a whole bunch of breath and then like breathe out a tornado or you know whatever, what? Gale you know winds. the Psalm uh, 46. Um, he speaks and the earth melts. Mm -hmm. I used to um, kind of say, you know that like that we're not. It's different than bad breath. Like sometimes, <laughs> and sometimes you're like, yeah, no, like you don't speak and things melt, but he could breathe. He could, what did he do with his breathing? I should pay attention. Superman? Yeah. Like he could, he could suck in a bunch it, of air and then breathe it out up. like gale like force a, winds out of oh, his mouth. Yeah. And knock the old lady's purse out of the <laughs> villain's hands. Yeah. Yeah. Something Good. Like that. Way to go, Superman. I'm yeah. glad you learned to fly. Good, good thing. Sure beats um, leaping. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy could only leap. Question three. Here we go. There's two blanks in this sentence. You have to fill them. Okay. I'm good with blanks. Cartoon characters are depicted as wearing blank as it eliminated the complex complexity of drawing a well-defined blank. Back in the days when they had to manually draw a new drawing per frame for numerous frames. <laughs> so something that they wore and then uh, a body part. Something that they wore. Because they didn't want to repeat drawing the complex, this complex oh. part. A hat or something, some part of their head and hair and ears and that kind of stuff. Okay, so you're guessing cartoon characters are depicted as wearing hats. Headgear. Headgear yeah. as it eliminated the complexity of drawing a well-defined head. Yeah, that's my final okay. answer. Well, you're, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not surprised? So <clears throat> the answer is gloves Over and hands. hands. Well, of course, every cartoon superhero needs wears gloves. Yeah. There's no way you can draw all the knuckles of all those knuckleheads. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, question four. Mm -hmm. The Flintstones yeah. was the most profitable network cartoon Pebble. franchise for 30 years before bam, ba, being bam, bam. unseated by what television show? The Jetsons. Wrong. Okay, Guess let again. me try again. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a little least, bit later. Yes. Um, Still popular today. 
Really? Kind of. By a small minority? Hmm. I, I like, well, we talked about a few, but the Flintstones were unseated. I, you know, give me the first letter or two. Uh, it, the blank. <laughs> the Jetsons. No. <laughs> I'm sure it's the Jetsons. Think of some yellow looking people. Uh, yellow looking people. The the Jetsons. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the yellow looking the Smurf. Oh, Smurfs. <laughs> we never talked about the Smurfs. They're I mean, blue. I know they're blue, but uh, I'm just thinking there's a whole nother cartoon genre. Yeah. No, it's not really a genre. Are we still recording? Uh, I hope so. Yeah. You yep. think they've fallen asleep We're by now? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. No. I. Yeah. I don't know. The Simpsons. <laughs> the Simpsons. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. That makes sense. Oh man. Okay. Time here is just flying by. <laughs> I've got a strange one. Okay. Uh, what strange reason was Donald Duck banned in Finland? Because Donald Donald Duck. Hmm, he was banned in Finland because nobody. See, they don't. I know. Okay. <laughs> the reason why the Finns do not like Donald Duck because they they are true and they work hard and they they don't want to give anyone extra money for un uh deserving purposes. So <laughs> all the bills in Donald Duck they're like we don't want to pay these. I see. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, you're wrong. Um, it was because he never wore his pants. <laughs> Donald Duck, he didn't wear, <laughs> he didn't pants. wear pants. What? That's embarrassing, Donald. Yeah. Donald Duck not wearing pants. I'm never going to. Uh, now I'm scarred. I don't want to go back and watch. Yeah. Donald Duck in no pants. All right. I'm going to skip one and go to the That's, last one. No wonder he had trouble concentrating. <laughs> Because <laughs> he was constantly embarrassed. Yes, exactly. He could never uh, get anything done. Okay. Uh, final question. Everyone's Wh- saying, yay! <laughs> <laughs> Which musical band mm-hmm. turned down the part of the vultures for the cartoon and the Jungle Book? And in our technical term, this the Jungle Book wouldn't be considered a cartoon because it's mm-hmm. a movie, not a... But we'll, we'll give it a pass. Uh, mm-hmm. So, which band turned down the part of the Vultures for the animated movie The Jungle Book? And it's a band. It's a band. I'm going to say it was um, Skillet. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about uh, The Rolling Stones? No. Um, Think, you too? Um Petra. No, it's, 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 it's old, really it's old. old. Do you remember when the Jungle Book was was made? Uh, it's probably like the 60s the or the Gaither 70s. The Gaither Vogel Band. <laughs> <laughs> no. Think like the most popular like rock. Like Elvis. No. I don't know. The. Yes. Beatles. Beatles. <laughs> the Beatles. <laughs> yeah. Too good for the Beatles. The Beatles are too good for the Jungle Book. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. Okay. Um, one of the things that we see in these cartoon things uh, and what we're going to transition our thoughts, uh, this view of uh, the Roadrunner madly escaping very easily, very quickly, Wiley e. Coyote. And lo and behold, Wiley e. Coyote finds himself going on a road that doesn't exist over a lot of thin air, and there he is suspended in midair, spinning his wheels <laughs> with a sound effect similar that to that. One. Yeah, that was good. That's I don't good think I do it again. <laughs> no, I can do it. <laughs> and anyway, so he's suspended there, and then after a three, four to second, you know, like, oh, I have no earth beneath my feet and he falls down 
And then the next episode. And so we say to ourselves, that was impossible. That's impossible. So much of like the cartoons just fill their lives with impossibilities. And like, that's why they're fun. Yeah, because you're like, how they'll never get, oh, and, oh, look at that. And he comes back and the show continues. And so the battle carries on. So it got me thinking, okay, what did some people think are impossible? So um, there's a, a question that what is impossible? So this is some answers from somebody that was called Dev. She says, it's impossible to swallow while breathing or to breathe while swallowing. And we would like to demonstrate Kurt trying this. <laughs> Here but, we go. I will breathe and drink my water at the same time. Oh, no. I'll have 911 ready. <laughs> no, don't. No, no, that's... Don't put that... <laughs> Sorry, it didn't work. Didn't work. It's okay. True. Well, that's that would be that would be truly impossible. And I mean, when you think about it, you can make a lot of things impossible. But okay, how about licking your elbow? So, no, I can, that's not happening. No, not even not even somebody who is like double jointed. I wonder, you know, like on a show like America's Got Talent or mm -hmm. now Canada's Got Talent, they should actually have someone trying these impossible things. It'd be like the impossible character tries again. Mm -hmm. They'd do this. Eh, no. Okay, that's one of them. Um, how is that on your list, um, dear listeners? Okay, good. You want me to give you one more? It's impossible to go to sleep just after you decide to do it. All right, okay, that's more. How about this one? In drinking an empty glass. Can you drink an empty glass? What or, is that supposed to be? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or sneeze while you and will have your eyes open while you sneeze. Oh, Try. yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, yeah. I would like you to try uh, sneezing sometime with your eyes open. Uh, tickle yourself. You, you, uh, you debated this a little bit, and what? I, and yeah, explain to our listening audience and viewing audience what how you found that you could tickle yourself. Yeah, I think it is possible. Yes. Um, and I think a, a good way to do it is to tickle the top of your mouth with your tongue. What? It's true. Yeah. Yeah. You can tickle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so ticklish. I didn't yeah. know that. Oh, man. we. Oh, what time is it? Uh, let me just quickly tell. Ooh, okay. We got to wrap this up shortly. Okay. Um, let me go back to my list. Uh, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Um, some people, she, this person says to get your fist completely in your mouth, but there are some people who do that. Uh, it's Should we demonstrate? Are you going to demonstrate? Nope, not no? a chance. Okay. Uh, impossible to count to infinity, um, right? Um, do, 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 do. It's, la it's impossible to literally do what's not possible. To bite your own neck. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah. Um, oh, I gave myself a... Uh, yeah. Gave myself something. I don't know. Like, that just like tweaked my neck or something. Oh, Maybe I'm at a, okay, but that's a funny one. Anyway, there's also sort of mathematical things that uh, some listener, or not listener, but something in our research uh, provided. Okay, I'm fiddling around here a lot. But um, <clears throat> to bring this home, um, okay, so how do we bring the impossible into the conversation of Scripture? Well, we do that, ladies and gentlemen, by uh, reading uh, Hebrews 11, chapter, verse 6. And so I'm going to read it for you. And um, you uh, shout out when you read the connection, hear the connection. And without faith, it is impossible. Ah! Ah, see, there it is, to please God. You can't please God. Like, how does that make you feel? I, you know, it's an interesting kind of thing to think about pleasing God. We so much want to please ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of my day, I'm trying to please myself, do what I feel will make me feel happy, just comfortable, at peace, um, without any stress, etc. So I gave ourselves, this is going to go off here, but I, um, yeah, so... Without faith, it's impossible to please God. And I'm going to stop that. Oh, dear. Now it won't stop. What am I doing? <laughs> That's my, this is where we have uh, gone to a gong show. Um, <laughs> okay, so we got to wrap this up here. And uh, without faith, it's impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe 
that he exists and he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So what is faith? Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance of what we do not see. So that, here it is, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this not from yourselves, it's the gift of God. That faith is the gift of God that we have. It's just so, it blows my mind. It's just so cool. Not by work so that no one can boast. We can't, we can't just try really hard um, and please God, but that there's this gift that God gives us, this gift of faith. And um, when we exercise it, just like the centurion did, uh, Jesus said, I haven't seen as, as such great faith anywhere in Israel. Um, when he just said, Give the word, Jesus, because I know that you have that authority. And that faith really pleased Jesus. And how in your day today will you exercise that faith and please God the Father? And, uh, please, yeah, like, uh, you know, it just takes so little uh, to do such incredible things Um not that we're doing things because we're not saved by works, but saved by by grace through faith. And um, so that's my little encouragement for you today. I hope that uh, your day is filled with a lot of faith and that you exercise that and that you really, uh, that it pleases God and brings joy to your day. Um, you know, we've had a lot of things for this reason, that, or another. Uh, to maybe the devil wants to steal your joy, but um, you exercising your faith will please God, and I'm sure you'll experience that joy in your life. This has been quite a ride. Uh, it has. The yeah. eight, eight sessions, that's it. That's a wrap for eight of these in July and August, and so who knows where the future of this will go. Um, you know, uh, reach out to us in whatever form you can. You, I think you can actually leave comments in uh, the podcast. I've seen a few of them, mm -hmm. so thank you. Uh, if you'd like us to do this again next summer or come at it from a different angle, maybe some sometime down the road, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, we'll do this again. Yeah. But uh, God bless. Thanks for joining us for this. Uh, and have a wonderful, beautiful, glorious morning. Oh, yeah. Any last words, Kurt? You'll have the last word. All right. Well, thanks for listening. It's been fun, Mark. And uh, it's been fun. Yeah. Uh, we'll see, see you later. Bye. Bye. Morning Glory staff party. Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not really. <laughs>